guys, this is Charlie from Charlie's Awesome World of Adventures and today I'm going to give you my review on The Fool Guy. Uh, guys, it's about Cup Oatsy Ethan, 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 who's a stuntman and like everyone in, in the stunt community, he gets blown up, shot, crashed through, uh, ashed, thrown through windows and dropped from the heights of heights, all for our entertainment. And now, I'll fresh off an almost career-ending accident. Then Cole, oh, has to track actor and the missing movie star, our top, on rider. The, the just, self a conspiracy. He and try went back at the love of his life, who's the director of the film, Elm Joe, Joe, Joe B. Morton, or Rano, Joe B. Morano. No, a uh, while still doing his day job. What could possibly go wrong? Right. So, uh, well, I haven't what for watch or no or let's just say I know nothing about the TV show that, that this movie's based on. On I know very little about it. To, to, but I have a few clips of, and trailers of this this move, movie and 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 I did get pretty hyped. It did look like it was going to be a fantastic film. It, I'm going into the stunt industry and the filmmaking industry as a whole. So me, you know, me and my parents went to watch this this afternoon, and it was good. Like I won't go as far and say that this is a fantastic dick movie, and it was a bit of a disappointment, but it was still good. But I won't say I hate it <laughs> at all. So let's start with the characters. Cause, cause, and I've got to say, these guys are pretty likeable. But why do you like these guys? I granted some of them I think would have been better if they had a bit more screen development. But most of these characters are pretty good. A, 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 a huge reason why it would have to be the actors. Because each one are managed to deliver for a fun and charming performance. This is as noticeable with the leads, Ryan Gosling, Oslin and Emily Blunt. Both of them were fantastic in this movie and offered such a great performance. In fact, the actors do help bring the chemistry between in, in the two human characters. Because on, on the on own, the these are two solid ca characters as is. It's, you've got Art Cole, the stunt. Up man who's hesitant to get back into the stunt up business out after a big accident, but wants to do it to it to, it to play. He's Joe Odie. The, the 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 as well as take take the mission to find this film. Elm star that he usually does stunt aren't both for and Jody, the who finally has a chance. Uh, and to be the big director to have a new, a new, new movie, the, and doesn't want anything to go wrong. She was hesitant to when Cope oh, joined her stunt team for the film. Uh, uh, but that's still up to grow bond and a nice connect action with her. Uh, him, him when the lead actor is in the center main show. Oh, these are definitely good characters as it is. It's a little generic, but really good. But like I said before, the actors to both of offer a fantastic performance, and that actually does help the romance angle between in the what act surprisingly well. As for um, some of the other characters, they they are the type of characters that are good, but might have needed a bit more screen time to know a bit more about them. Like Tom, our oh, rider is the st is the film star that that's gone missing. Sing, sing, get game out. I is the produce. Usa who, Usa who sat at court all top on this mission to find him. And and he start Arthur. Arthur's Tom, on his gut. Oh, friend, 
and Dan Tucker is the head of the stunt community. Deep. Deep. for the film. And the list goes on. Like I said before, they are good characters. And I do like each of them. It's just... Just to act unlike the leads. They don't have, have much personality. There are also two twist villains in the film. Uh, and without going into spoilers, the, the, they are probably two of the most dull and predictable twist villains you can find in a movie like this. Yes. It's, it's so noticeable that as soon as these guys show up, that they will be the, be the main aim back. Addy that these that cult will have to escape from. Um, next, there's the storyline. Now, on its own, uh, the story is pretty generic. Really, it's about this old washed, washed up guy uh, who's kind of retired from under stuff he loves, but has got a chance to get back into the business. And is sent on some this mission. As well as doing his main a movie job, it's as generic as of the description you can get. But usually, these descriptions can work if the execution is good. And as it is, for the most part, the film is executed okay. Hey, but a big problem with it, it is the pacing. There are some time, I'm afraid, it does feel well paid. It's like it's not going too fast, but it's not going too slow either. But there are also times where I'm sure the film can just drag on. Or make some scenes feel longer than they they should be. This is especially noticeable with the open, with the fat arched half now, where I so, where it did feel slow, very slow pace. A granted the film did manage to pick the pace up up as it went on. Um, but it still felt pretty slow for what it was trying to offer. However, while, while, while this isn't the, the, a perfectly executed story, or is executed well, uh, it, it is executed really well. Uh, uh, this is mainly the showing of how it kind of a love letter to the film and, and, um, and stunt industries is as a whole. So it does it. Let's go deep into to ev- to how how the stunt report almost in stunt doubles will perform on the ants and how how they're executed through, through their life and it does go well into the main filmmaking industry if how these big blockbusters does does are made. Also, the film does sprinkle in some humour, and I was surprised to find how funny this movie actually is. Yes, there are a lot of j- jokes that I found to be hilarious, yes, and highly entertaining. And like I said before, thanks to the, the main actors, the romance angle that the film's trying, trying, to, trying to use is, is executed really well. Um, and does become one of the stronger hooks of the movie. So yeah. While not a fantastic story, it's still a decent one regardless. And then there are the visuals. And honestly, this film looks really good. And I mean, it does look good. But, but, but I can definitely say that if the budget was put on the visuals, well, most of the budget that was put on the visuals, it... It worked perfectly. A good example of that uh, would be the scenes when they're shooting the film. Um, they go into these pyrotechnics of how, how these big A explosions and special effects are set up. So, um, I, I make to, I, I use, use the camera angles to their advantage to get some fantastic shots. But, however, that's not just for the filmmaking. Whenever these big stunts or action things happen, and the cat, the the cinematography, it goes all all out to get make sure, or you're watching these scenes from the best angles possible. Oh. 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 I, 
And I gotta say that they did help me get more invested with the film. Also, since this, this is a film, film about stunts, and the effects work really well, how to bring this movie to life. I've, I've especially with the more intense and it's action pack act moment as that can be quite exciting. Ting. Ting. I've also added some nice boss uh owners is that the costumes look really great in this film. Um like I each costume is it's nice and fit it's the character as well. And they've managed to get some creative ones and for or whatever the scene needs. Eat some of all Oh, oh, this is definitely far from one of the best songs you'll get from the year, but it's still an entertaining one. Oh my god, the, the full all guy is a solid other movie that managed to, to make a strong on impression. And I wouldn't go as far as that and say that this is one of the best films that takes place within the film industry. It was pretty dull uh, or or unpredictable story, or it adds some um, the side character does not have much focus, but it does make up for it. It was it was some great action, a great look into the film industry as a whole, whole solid romance, and some great humour, amazing visual effects, likable leads, he's and strong actors that were able to live if a if a great performance. And I'm sure fans of the, the TV show that this film is based on I might get something out of this but honestly I would recommend and this to people who are in the, interested in the film industry as they'll be the one and they'll get the most out of it and be interested with what the film is trying to say I wouldn't go think this is the best film looking into the film industry but for what it should be looking to, to, to cut, cut was able to, to bring in a stunt and that was solid enough for a 7 out of 10. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment, like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.